Hello all you beautiful people, how are you doing today? This is Love Tim Joyce and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome. Hi! So today we're going to do another Sky Factory 4 tutorial. And well, this one is on resource hogs. Resource hogs are a lot of fun and helps early game to get some materials. Plus, um, the resource hogs, the, and I'm only going to go over the ones today that do not have saplings. So, there's a lot of resource hogs, all these to be exact, that do not actually have saplings. So you can get extra materials that you cannot get from like bonsai trees. Alright, so first of all, well, you're going to need a pig. So you can get a pig by either uh, three different ways. One of three ways. So as long as you're 32 blocks away from whatever your spawn point is, then you can place a green... I, I recommend bigger than this. You know, I usually do like a 10 by 10, a pretty good size green area. And you'll naturally have mob spawn. Now, you're not guaranteed a pig because, you know, cows, uh, wolves, all kinds of stuff will spawn. Chickens. But you do have a chance of getting a pig. But there's also a couple other different things we could do. First of all, we can make our own pig seed. So a pig seed is just a carrot seed and a dirt acorn. So that's pretty easy to get early game, right? But if you don't want to do that, our little market here, which today is apparently run by Taylor Swift. Haha. -ha. Um, in your market, you can also buy all kinds of animal seeds. And pig is one of them. So pig seed right here, if you put it in, it takes 16 raw corn. And if you played Sky Factory for, for any amount of time, that is really easy to get, you know. So you could also buy it from our little trader marketplace guy here. All right, so what do we do? Um, I do have a full tutorial, but you're going to plant the seed. It has to be on grass cannot be on anything else it'll naturally grow but it's really really slow so bone meal it takes about four sometimes five and then you'll get a baby pig now sometimes like in this instance you can actually get more than one from each plant which is cool and this one we're actually going to get three it looks like now, they are babies, so... Oh, wow. We're actually going to get four? What? Okay, we got four little piggies from that one plant. So, they do go a long way. Now, you're not always guaranteed to get four. It's anywhere from one to four. I've never seen you get more than four. Uh, that's why I was actually shocked that we got four that time. But then you can actually uh, shift right click you can pick up your pin so that's what I did to all these I picked them up and put them in their little pins uh, but yeah now we need the baby to be fully grown you can turn a pig so we're gonna we're gonna try this so the first one I did here each one is a different kind of resource hog and again I only did the ones that do not have a bonsai tree this is how many different resources that do not have bonsai trees, okay? So every recipe is gonna have a bucket of water and a piece of dirt, because essentially that's the mud. What you're doing is you're creating a bucket of mud for whatever resource you want to turn your pig into. Turn it into a resource hog. So for this one, we're gonna do prismarine. So all you do is you take your bucket and you're gonna pour it over the pig. And as you see, the plain little piggy, the instant I pour it over him, he turns. And it's funny that he climbed in there with them, because, you know, that's where he goes. <laughs> but um, another thing you can do is once you have two fully grown ones, you can, and see, they're, they're dropping their little... Well, let's see if we can look at that. They're dropping their little truffles here, which is what... Uh, we need in order to give us the resource. So when we break one of these truffles, then it gives us this little truffle in our inventory. Uh, and if you think of a truffle, it's kind of like a mushroom. Truffles are actually delicacies and the pigs, what they're doing is digging them up out of the dirt. 
So each different type of resource hog requires a certain kind of material for them to be standing on. So for instance, these guys, these prismarine guys, they need dirt. So that's why they're standing on dirt. The most common ones you're going to find is dirt and stone, but a few of them take soul sand. But that is the most common that they're going to need to be on. Well, how do you know, know what they need to be on? Well, if we look into, not there. Okay, so let's turn one of these pigs. Let's just grab a random one here. And let's turn one of these little ones. Where'd they run off to? Piggies! Seriously, where did they run off to? Alright. Little pigs. Oh, here's one of them. Come here. You guys aren't supposed to be in there. They just run off and do their own thing. Okay, so we're going to pour over this guy. He'll stop running around. There we go. Now, he is a resource hog, but it'll be red, and it says cannot dig here. One, he's too young, because, of course, in order to produce, they have to be fully grown. But there's no dig diggable block. What it says under there is what they need to be standing on. So for him, he needs stone. So it says stone underneath it. And they do have a cooldown rate. Um, but the cool thing is, if you have two fully grown ones of the same resource, so for here we have two prismarine, you can breed them. And they will create a baby of the exact same. So that's a quick way. So if you start with two of a certain resource, it's a quick way to get a whole bunch of these. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, there's two different things you can do with the resource hogs. So you can wait and you can get their truffles, right? But you can also kill them. And let me see here. If we kill them, oh, he's so cute. Uh, if we kill a big one, it gives us bacon. It gives us regular pork too, but it gives us bacon. And so the bacon will be whatever resource it is so of course these are prismarine ones well of course and the guy that jumped in there so they give us prismarine bacon so that is the two different ways to get uh, resources off each hog now for this i didn't put it down but if we uh uses on this you can grind it, put it in a grindstone squeezer, and it'll give you whatever the resource is, each one for one. So not bad, you can even put it in a crusher and a manufactory. I always call it manufactory. Anyway, okay, so let's take a look at some of the other ones. And of course with the truffles, you are going to combine them. Four together will make one. So, but they produce obviously truffles faster than what we could breed them and kill them so it's completely up to you how you want to do it all right so next we have invar so it's again water bucket and dirt for this one you'll need invar blend now with a fully grown one when we pour it over it'll just simply tell us there is no cooldown timer because he's fully grown and the way that they look it's i, I think just so cute um, but if he's just standing there, he's probably digging for truffles. Um, when they move around, they're not digging. But when they're standing still, just like this, that's usually a good sign that they're digging for the truffles. All right, let's, so let's move on. Let, let's keep going because we've got a lot to go through. So next we have Dilithium Crystal. And again, these are all the different types of resources that you can do. Look at that. Isn't that so cute? He almost looks like a block of diamond, right? Next, we have a steel, and that just uses steel blend. And look at him, he looks like a block of steel. So freaking cute. Next, we have soul sand, and it just uses a piece of soul sand. Now, this is one of the ones that I was telling you, this one has to be on soul sand. And of course, he just looks like a block of soul sand. Now, this one is a little bit differently. This is the ender one, and he has to be on endstone. He's the only one that has to be on endstone. 
but he needs the special ender carrot. So you're gonna take a carrot with an eye of ender and that'll give you the ender carrot. And then you just place the ender carrot in our regular recipe here. And that'll give us, so this guy will actually give us ender pearls and isn't he so cute i love the ender pearl um design you know i know i gotta keep going we'll be here forever next we have lithium so you're just going to use a piece of lithium dust and there you go he's kind of got some white armor on there so this one is platinum and you're just going to take a piece of pulverized platinum Ah, uh, see that one? Okay, when I'm mining, this one, the platinum always tricks me unless I look closer and makes me think it's diamonds. Just me? Everybody else? I don't know. Okay, next we have a thorium. And again, this is stuff that you cannot get for the bonsai, which is why you will probably want a resource hog for it. Next, we have a titanium, and this one takes a full block. Pour that on. So freaking cute. Next, we have sapphire, and it's just going to take a one of the little sapphire gems. And again, I think these all are so freaking adorable. Next, we have electrum, and electrum is very useful, and of course, we use it for quite a bit. And I think that is so adorable. It's so shiny. All right, next we have glass, which is kind of weird. But I mean, it's a glass. He, he's gonna give us glass. So he, he makes me think that he's ready to go to space. That's what I think he looks like. All right, next we have obsidian and it takes a block of refined obsidian, not regular. So make sure you do that. And there we go. And of course he looks adorable. Um, and like I said, you can see, I'm not telling you what they're standing on, but as I'm doing it, I, you can see, and I showed you how to figure it out. Um, so the next one is magnesium. And I think this one's so cute. The magnesium is such a pretty pink. It just looks like a regular pig, like he's wearing like those footy pajamas, you know? All right, next we have bronze. And you know, bronze is easy because copper and tin, you already have that. But this just makes it so you it's already combined. Now this one's a little bit different. This one is dried bricks. And this one is for the seared stone. So for the recipe, it takes a seared brick. But in order for the hog to actually dig up truffles, it has to be on dried bricks. But isn't he so cute? He's so cute. Next we have, and I think we did this one, yeah, uranium. So it's just a piece of uranium dust. And there we go. Uh, what happened to this one? I'm like, excuse me, sir, where'd, where, where did your stuffs go? Hmm. And this one last is a manulin. And it is the other one that has to be on soul sand. And of course my favorite color is purple. So that looks adorable. It looks like they just did the block pattern because it even has the S on it. Um, let me see if I forgot one and I'll be right back. Okay, so apparently I forgot two. Uh, so this one is boron, so boron dust. Get our bucket of mud. And cute, cute, cute. And the last one is aquamarine. And this one's a little guy, but it's just an aquamarine gem. And of course, this could be pretty useful. And we'll turn it onto the little one. So this one needs to be standing on sand. So he can't dig here. And this one actually is supposed to be on stone, so. But this one I will have to change because he has to be standing on sand, the aquamarine. So, all right, now let's talk about the truffles. So the truffles, you'll hear a popping noise when they actually create one. And then they stand on it for quite a while, which is weird, I know. 
but um they'll actually stand on it did you already make one yeah i was trying to see they they do make them pretty quick but um but then he, see that popping noise i don't know if you heard that but it's just like when you break a brick that's what a uh, block that's what it sounds like so these guys let's let's take you where was your friend over here uh, your friends over here let's put you in there all right so in order to do any sort of automation unless you're just gonna stand here and continually pick up the resources like this uh, which you can do but if you wanted to automate it well there's something you could do so you could take um, a controlled miner so we're gonna set one here because it'll go down several blocks whoops but we want to set it the other way so whatever way this black circle is facing that's what way it is going to harvest things so we want to place it this way and then we want to go in and tell it only do uh, a one so we don't want to power it until we have it completely set we want this to be the largest it can be which is 19 by 19 um, so that way it'll get the biggest area that we can and we're gonna put on ignore list and we're gonna tell it to ignore I used nether brick fence and dark oak uh, fence gate so we're gonna tell it to ignore that it's only gonna do one block because all it needs to mine is this block right here uh, the one we're standing on of course not the dirt because that's where the truffles will always be so it is going to mine this block as soon as we get it powered and then uh, let's go ahead and do our GPS for it and then once it does that it's going to pop up those uh, those truffles there now once it pops up the truffles then we need something to actually pick them up so see how they're just going to be floating on the ground here so then for that we're going to use an item collector now this one I like to put this way but you can do it wherever you want this one does not have to be powered so it'll automatically pick up items in the area um, and then we want and it's anything that's automatically broken so we changed it to a 19 by 19 so any of the ones that the automatic miner there will break this will pick up now in order to see where it's working just go in here and preview the area so then if we go down here uh, where'd it go so we need to see drives me nuts that the preview hides itself but uh let's see maybe if we go here and look there we go okay so we know it only goes to this block right here so then we would have to put another machine probably on the other side honestly is where you're going to put it but that is one way that you can automate it now from here there's a couple different things you can do because it's going to automatically pick up all this stuff so we can pull it out with an item extraction cable and we're going to pull it out into a chest now you could also pull it out straight to like your ME system your storage system you could pull it out into um drives and whatnot oh well i didn't blacklist those so it's picking up those we also want to blacklist those and that and now it's going to try to break this so we need to move this out just a little bit so it's outside of that zone whoops wrong way now if we put it there now it'll be fine okay so yeah as you can see anything that's not on the ignore list it will pick up so beware 
you're wanna, gonna wanna have an area just for your resource dogs. So anyway, we're gonna pull it out from here with an item extraction cable and we can do it to a chest or any other thing that you wanted. But for this instance, we're just gonna pull it to a chest, okay? And then from here, there's multiple things you can do. You can set it up, you can put it in an auto crafter so it'll, you can tell it to take uh, these truffles. Uh, see like there's four of this dilithium one. So you can tell it to automatically craft these. Now of course this does have to be powered. So let's power that one real quick. And actually I think these are empty. Yeah. So if you have it auto crafting you it, it'll just automatically do what comes in here the thing is you're gonna have to uh, tell it only the certain one that you want so for instance we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it on allow list and we're gonna tell it we only want the dilithium crystal because that's the only one it's gonna craft in here so this one would be very time-consuming because it's only gonna pull out that certain one why is it still pulling them out because they're all called truffles mm. well that's poopy so it'll pull out all of the truffles and it will combine them but what I suggest is just having it to go straight into like your ME system Honestly, that's the way I would set it up. And then from your ME system, you could either pull it out and do some auto crafting stuff, or you can just go in your system and tell it to craft it. So, but that is how you can automatically break them and automatically have them picking up. That's it. Hopefully this was helpful. I know it was a little bit longer, but I wanted to go through and show all the different ones that are available. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Until next time, this is Lava Temptress. Don't get burned.